One morning on the island of Sodor, Bertie the bus was preparing for the day's work when he heard a familiar whistle in the distance. Oh, that must be James. Wonder how he's getting on. I haven't seen him in a while. He's not usually out this early, Bertie mused. Hello, James. What seems to be the matter? You're looking more blue than red today. James just scowled. I haven't got the chance to pull passengers in weeks. It's just cars, cars, cars all day long. I'm sick of it. And now, Sir Topham Head has asked me to deliver this early morning goods train. It's not fair. Bertie knew that James could be a bit overdramatic sometimes and decided to have a bit of fun with the red engine. Well, we can't all be really useful all the time, can we? Now, if you were a bright red bus like me, you'd never have to pull freight cars again, would you? James rolled his eyes. Hey, but then again, you weren't always red, were you, James? Ah, yes, I remember the days when you were painted tender to foot plate in black. Well, all I can say is, you'd never catch me wearing anything but my smart red paint. Red is the only proper colour, you know. Ah, well, I suppose buses always did look better than trains anyway. Before James could answer, Bertie drove away, still laughing. Stupid bus, James fumed to himself. Thomas is welcome to him. One morning, James was horrified to see Bertie surrounded by several pots of red paint. Look at this, James, Bertie grinned. I've been working so hard, I've earned myself a repaint. Don't you wish some of this red paint could go on you too? James said nothing, but the look on his face said it all. His own red paint was dirty and scratched. Unfortunately, it's all for me. Don't worry, I'll make sure it looks extra nice. James left in a huff. Several days of this had passed, and James was growing fed up with Bertie's antics. I don't know how much more of this I can take, Edward, he complained. That wretched bus is so annoying. He can be a bit of a handful sometimes, but he'll get over the joke eventually, James, Edward replied kindly. If only I could get a repaint too. Oh, and a chance to pull the express. That would really show him, wouldn't it? That would be nice, Edward replied. But don't worry, James. You'll get your comeuppance soon, I'm sure of it. In the meantime, do your best to ignore them. James was unsure, but decided it best to heed Edward's words. Meanwhile, Bertie was feeling the happiest he had been for weeks. Edward had brought a tar tanker to Thomas's branch line earlier that day, and now the bumpy running the roads were finally being mended. Hey, hey, now this is the life, Bertie chuckled. For once, the railway is actually quite useful. Too bad the only red engine on the rails is such a disappointment. Down the road, some workmen were filling a particularly large hole with cars. They were very alarmed when they saw Bertie heading straight towards them. Watch out, Bertie! But Bertie didn't see until it was too late. Luckily, he hadn't been carrying any passengers, but Tar had splashed all over him, coating him in black. You silly bus! We had spent a long time filling that ratted hole! Um, I'm very sorry, sir. Um, please, can you call the breakdown lorry? To Bertie's dismay, the workman shook his head. Afraid we can't do that. You're too deep to simply be towed out. No, we'll have to lift you out with cranes. An engine will have to come with the breakdown train. The rails are near enough that it should be able to reach. Bertie wasn't too excited about an engine seeing him like this, but he had no say in the matter as the arrangements were made. When the fat controller heard the news, he sent James to put things right at once. James, of course, wasn't happy about that extra job, 
But when he saw Bertie, he couldn't help but laugh. Ha 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 ha! Well, well, well! What's this, Bertie? I thought you wouldn't dare be seen in anything other than red. Bertie was horrified to see that James had come to his rescue, but said nothing. I suppose the painters must have thought red was too good of a colour for you. Oh well, happens to the best of us. The cranes carefully lifted Bertie out of the hole and placed him on a flatbed. James took Bertie to be mended, laughing the entire trip. That night after James had returned Bertie to the bush yard, he sat quietly in his shed. He had a lot to think about and hoped he would be left in peace. Unfortunately for Bertie, he was not alone. Well, 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 what's happened here, Bertie? Asked Bulgy. What on earth is all over you? It's Ta. I had an accident today, Bertie replied meekly. <laughs> oh, Ta. Oh dear, Bertie, that's not very good. In fact, you could even say it's terrible. <laughs> Bertie was confused. Huh? <laughs> yes, I suppose you could say you went talking up the wrong tree. <laughs> Bulge, this isn't funny. My driver could have been seriously injured. Oh my. If he had been, the railway's reputation would have been tarnished. <laughs> Bertie was fed up with Bulgy. His ridiculous pun for making his terrible day even more. Tarable than before.